Alright, in this video we're going to take CSS rules from the web page and move it into its own style sheet. Let's take a look at the code here from building this page. We're going to put all the CSS into the page that has the HTML as well. If you'll notice here I'm looking at the top of the page and then here is the body of the page. Typically that just bloats the page and uh, it's really a good practice to, to put your CSS rules into a page of its own. So we style the page. We did all the CSS rules on the page that we built here. And what we want to do now is we're going to move all these rules into the style sheet that it's made for this uh, page. Now the style sheet right now, if you notice this right here, if I go into live view, that's the Serena font, it's not a graphic, it's an actual web font that's going to upload with the website to the server so visitors that come to your website they're not going to have the Serena font on their computer but they'll be able to still see the font just like this because Dreamweaver in a previous video I showed you how Dreamweaver uh, will take the web fonts and upload it when it got the web fonts it created a style sheet for it right there it does all the web fonts so when they upload, people can see the actual Serena font without substituting it with something else on their system. But I'm going to go ahead and move the rest of the rules that we have here. And these are all the ones that are in the HTML or the regular body. There we go. We're going to move all these to style sheets. So we're just going to select them all and go right click click on move CSS rules style sheets already selected if you wanted a new style sheet say for example you wanted to call it main you could do that but I'm putting everything in you know you just click there and you would go okay then it asks you to name it then you name it main or whatever your website name whatever but for me style sheets good enough so I'm just gonna go okay and you'll notice now when I collapse the style sheet CSS that's where all the rules are and when I look in the style sheet CSS if you remember the Serena font styles were at the top and there's the rest of them right there so moving your CSS rules off the web page into its own file is a very simple thing to do as simple as right click and move and that's all there is to it and if you'd like to have this website as a template for something you can use for your own projects you're more than welcome to download it from my website. We'll take a look at it here in the browser. So this, I'm going to give this website template away for free. It even comes with the picture in it. Of course, you want to substitute your own picture and everything. But anyhow, just go to www.skeeterz71.com and you'll want to type in the keyword if you can't, if it's not on the home page type in the word keyword option O-P-T-I-O-N you'll be able to find it that way. Now for more videos on Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Illustrator, WordPress and a few programming languages visit my website www.skeeterz71.com